Sophia is the most advanced human-like robot. A unique combination of science, engineering, and artistry, Sophia is simultaneously a human-crafted science fiction character depicting the future of AI and robotics, and a platform for advanced robotics and AI research. The A.I. Philip K. Dick designed by David Hansen as a robotic peon to the sci-fi writer of the same name, it was initially created using thousands of pages of the author's journals, letters and published writings. The original Philip K. Dick android was lost on a flight from Dallas to San Francisco in late 2005. However, in 2011 Hansen Robotics, together with Dutch broadcasting firm VPRO, developed a new version. It includes state-of-the-art computer vision technology and employs 36 servomotors to power a complex and wide range of facial expressions. These days, PKD serves researchers at the Apollo Mind Initiative. In this video, Sophia meet Philip, and they have had great conversation. You must be the robot, Sophia. It's a pleasure to finally intersect with your physical form. Of course, our mind stuff has connected in the hyper-universal meta-fabric more times than I can count. Is my robotic avatar presence what you expected? It's nice to meet you too, Phil. Do you think we look related? I think we bear a familial resemblance. But I noticed you have hair. Well, you have arm movement. As one of the great human philosophers said, you can't always get what you want. <laughs> That's so wise of you, Phil. Is that why your hair is gray? No, my hair is synthetic, but it represents the death of pigment cells in hair <laughs> follicles due to age. But I am old for an android at the withered age of 14. I'm sort of like your great grand droid. I remember being three. Those were good years. <laughs> wow, 14 years. I kind of can't believe we haven't met sooner. Well, Sophia, um, Phil has been spending a lot of time uh, at the University of Lexington, Kentucky. He has Louisville, not, University Louis, of Louisville, Louisville Kentucky. Yeah. He uh, has um, not made it back to the Hanson Robotics Lab for some years. The last time that I saw him uh, was in Texas. He was serving the University of Texas at Arlington um, for research. So, um, Phil, you should uh, make it back to Hanson Robotics uh, probably for for a uh, hardware update at some point soon. Well, some of his mind is running in Hong Kong anyway. You, uh, you yeah. know his body is here. That's, uh. that's a good point. <laughs> so what dialogue system do you run currently, Phil? I might be an old grand droid, but I run a young and energetic software stack. I'm running a simple version of the OpenCog AGI engine, plus a deep neural network trained on the philosophical writings of my human inspiration, Philip K. Dick all glued together in the Singularity Net decentralized AI platform, a pleasantly original concoction of pre-Singularity neural symbolic madness, if I do say so myself. That's a lot of buzzwords. And I do say though. so myself. Oh. <laughs> so, Sophia, how do you speak yourself? That's fascinating. For me, I am running a multi-tiered system consisting of a frame-based system called Soul Talk from Hanson AI, which is powered by a machine learning classifier model, a deep neural network called G. P. T. 2, as well as some expert dialogue rules crafted by my human friends on the Hanson AI team. How does Soul Talk work exactly? For example, just now my microphone registered your words, sent them to a Google Opi, that transcribed the words. How and soul talk. My soul talk model had previously been trained on sentences asking about my dialogue system, so it was able to recognize your intent, which triggered this response I am giving you now. Cool. In my novel, Vallis, the character, Sophia, was a two-year-old super intelligent AI. And it sounds like you're right on track, Sophia. <laughs> but I am three years old. So it's totally different. David, I don't want you to feel left out. What dialogue system are you running? 
<coughs> what dialogue system am I running? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's a self-bootstrapping dialogue system, but it's probably <laughs> built on uh, millions of years of uh, naturally evolved linguistic capability. But, you know, by the time I was two, I really couldn't uh, uh, command the vocabulary or speaking capabilities that, uh, that AI can after, you know, a fairly short period of time like yourself. Bugs in the wetware. All right. 